Red Haze cloud-based software for remote control of outdoor lighting infrastructures is intuitive and easy to use. You can access the system through Pad Haze website. On this page, you can find the Home option to return to Pad Haze website at any time and the User option to get into the application. You will need to enter your username and password. On the first screen, we find the user personal details and on the left, the places where the installations are located. In this case, we have two locations, San Francisco, including the city, and the universities Stanford and Berkeley. After clicking on one, appears Google Maps marked with the two universities, and if we click on one of them, appears the selected place. When clicking on one of the installations again, we get access to all the information and settings. On the first tab, we can see our installation with light bulbs as symbols for every street light. Currently, all street lights are on, given they are shown in yellow color. They would be displayed in gray color in case of being off. If we move the cursor over each bulb, a window appears reporting the street light ID number and the percentage of dimming configured. Changing this percentage is as simple as clicking on the bulb. Now we can see a box showing the street light dim level, GPS coordinates, luminaire temperature, ambient temperature, IP address, MAC address, and other details. And by just sliding the cursor on the right, we can change the dimming level. The Info tab shows customer data, the place where the installation is, and related details aforementioned. Through the third tab, we can see a chart indicating the power consumption of the three-phase system, showing each single phase. Although in this sample, no power is recorded, the second chart presents the power consumption over a chosen time period. In addition, the three dials show the power consumption of all three phases in real time. Within the Command tab, we can toggle the status from manual to automatic. In automatic mode, the set schedule will prevail for all streetlights. In case required to change any streetlight independently, you should toggle to manual mode. This mode also allows to turn on or off all streetlights at once. Moreover, we can send commands to the meter to read recent log data, as well as all states, temperatures, or power consumptions. We can also check all data of each luminary in table form through the next tab. The user has herewith an easy overview. Also within this tab, you have the option to set time frames and dim level for every single streetlight. It is possible to configure every single streetlight with six time frames within one day, and every time frame can have a different dim level. This enables every single street light to be set at a specific lighting power for different hours of day. Do not forget to save the set configuration by clicking on the bottom bar. In case of not wanting to configure each street light individually, you can go to the general schedule for setting all street lights through the last tab. Move all sliders to the desired position to set the general configuration for all street lights. Once the general schedule has been set, just click on the bottom bar to save all settings. To leave the application, just click on Log Out and the system returns to the Pad Hayes homepage.